Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today we're going to talk about tribulus. Can it improve testosterone? What are some of the facts? What are some of the uses? And how can we improve testosterone naturally in men and women? Okay, so let's get right into it. Tribulus, terrestris, can it increase testosterone? AKA goat's head, right? So it's been known to show anti-aging properties, analgesic properties, anti-inflammatory, as well as antioxidants. It's been used for sexual desire, cardiovascular, or anti-diabetic properties. And it's been marketed as it increases testosterone, increases sexual function, um, improves dysfunction in men and women. However, the multi-ingredients are used in large portions of the studies. So when they say it improves testosterone, they're not using uh, tribulus as a single ingredient. They're using multi-ingredients when they're doing these trials or these studies, right? So can it increase testosterone? Possibly, but the studies are really showing that they're using other products uh, along with tribulus. The bioactive ingredient is protodicin, right, or diacin. The adverse effect of taking um, tribulus can be diarrhea. So when they did some studies on postmenopausal women, they, it's shown that it can cause diarrhea in some women, okay? So let's get into some of the studies. So there is some uh, solid evidence on erectile dysfunction and desire, right, for men. Also for women, increases sexual desire and increased fertility rate in men, okay? So increased fertility in men is because one, it improves erectile dysfunction, two, increases uh, the bulk of the sperm as well as the motility of the sperm. And that's where I think a lot of the benefits actually come from is that it improves the motility of the men's. Um, basically boys, right? Testosterone production, when used with other dietary ingredients, it's been shown to increase testosterone, not tribulus by itself. It also benefits type 2 diabetes. It's been shown to reduce fasting blood glucose, hemoglobin A1c, and it has some effects on uh, cholesterol. So the active ingredient is protodiacin, and it's been shown to that, uh, that it can actually convert to DHEA. So why is that important? So one of the uh, mechanisms where you can see tribulus moving towards testosterone or improving testosterone is this, that it can increase DHEA. And DHEA will convert to androstenedione, which can go to testosterone. But you can also go to estrone, and then testosterone can also go to estradiol, right? So there is a potential to increase testosterone, uh, especially when you add other uh, components to tribulus. However, tribulus alone may or may not get to what the desired effect might be, because it can convert to other areas. Now, this conversion of testosterone right in here to estradiol, right? A lot of it can occur in your belly fat, right? In the fat, there is an enzyme called aromatase. And aromatase will convert testosterone to estradiol or estrogens. And this is pretty simplistic. It's much more complicated than this. However, aromatase will convert it to estrogens, right? And one way you can block the aromatase enzyme in the belly fat is using a cream called Chrysin cream and you can apply it into the belly fat a couple of times a day and it'll help block the aromatization of testosterone to estrogen. So uh, that's one way to improve testosterone levels. So in terms of dosages, tribulus, you can do 250 to 500 milligrams up to three times a day, right? You can start with slow, uh, smaller dosages and work your way up. You can also use other components to help improve this. You can do Panax ginseng, 
which is more of an adaptogenic herb, right? It reduces stress and cortisol. So you can use that uh, 250 uh, to 500 milligrams three times a day. And also maca extracts. You can use that also to help improve testosterone levels. So these components, and you can also add things like zinc, boron, and dim um, to this uh, combination. But if you use this combination, then you can certainly push it more towards testosterone. However, uh, you don't want to play with your hormones too much. So it's important to check your levels and see where your um, levels are to start with and where you finish, right? So when people come into my office, we may put them on a regiment of maybe two to three months, right? Usually like two or three female cycles um, would be an appropriate time frame, and then recheck to see if there's change. Certainly there may be change in terms of uh, symptomatic relief for a lot of people, uh, but it's important to uh, understand how this mechanism might work and using it appropriately might have a lot of benefits for some people, okay? So my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.